What do you guys think? We love it! And you went from a pond to a pondless. So I know you're gonna miss your fish a little bit. I think we made the right decision with the oh pondless waterfall, right? Yeah. What is up everybody? Chris from Team Aquascape. We've got DK, Juan, and myself out here today getting ready to start what's going to be an incredible pondless waterfall for a former customer that just built this gorgeous new house, but we're gonna be in the backyard doing something magical. You guys ready? Let's go. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So as I said, we are going to be creating a pondless waterfall starting today. So this is our access in through here. Let me bring it into the backyard and show you the canvas. Now this is a former customer that just built this new house, moved in about a year ago, and we are out here to bring her back into living the aquascape lifestyle, which she was so accustomed to and has been missing for the last year. So I'm in this incredible backyard. You can see all the windows of this beautiful new home, suburban backyard, and here is our canvas. So we are going to be be removing that one spruce right there we're going to be building a retaining wall along that fence and then we're going to be building about a two and a half to three foot tall waterfall nice and wide we've got a lot of rock out there with the intent to prevent this thing from looking volcanic now it's a very flat backyard and through here we've got a little bit of a drainage swale so we're actually going to dig that basin into that hillside right there and then build our waterfalls coming out of there and what i'm hoping to do is we've got an sld 5000 to 9000 gallon per hour pump and some beautiful moss rock what i I really want to do is get a lot of movement splits and then maybe a big veil style waterfall because it is so far removed from the house and so close to the back property line is I want to make that thing as visual as possible it being so far away anticipating those kind of challenges based on where the location of the water feature is that's why I spec'd up a bigger pump we've got some three inch pipe but I also went with some of that bigger moss rock knowing that I needed to create a taller more dramatic waterfalls to make it visible from all the way back over here as well as when you're up close and personal so gonna be super fun I'm gonna get started. DK and Juan just got here, so did the machine. We're gonna go ahead and unload and get our materials back here and then start building that retaining wall first and then get our reservoir dug. All right, so these are those six by six by eight treated timbers that we will use to build our retaining wall. We're gonna bury a course and then we're gonna come up. We'll staircase it back about three quarters of an inch just to give it a little extra support. We'll have a couple dead men tied into the berm, but it's gonna run parallel with the fence right here. But we're using that to help support the berm that we're creating back in here. So it'll just basically be like a 16 foot long retaining wall going up about two and a half feet which will allow us to pull off about a three to three and a half foot tall waterfall because of the elevation change from there down into here is where the basin will sit so we're at soon the wall is built it looks fantastic right now we got to pull this spruce out of here so that we can relocate it later we got a, a basic outline of where our reservoir is going to sit we do have irrigation that runs through here so maybe we'll get lucky and see if we have to do any repairs or have to push that reservoir back a little bit but with Dan's doing right now is getting that spruce out of there and then we'll get our basin dug get the liner everything in basin in today maybe even set that bottom waterfalls but because of all the street work and stuff that's going on out front logistics are a little hairy right now because we have to work around that so it's just we're struggling to get some of this material back here efficiently so we want to make sure that we are not creating a lot of damage with our equipment coming back in and out of here it's a brand new landscape brand new grass all that stuff so we're trying to keep it to a minimum but sometimes just stuff happens on a job site so we're going to do the best we can and uh, yeah so check in we'll be sure to update you if any challenges arise but hopefully that irrigation doesn't come into play and uh, we can just focus on digging So we're wrapping up day one. We got the reservoir in. We've got 12 large aqua blocks. We have a pump vault. We are filling it with water because we are anticipating a little bit of rain. We've got a 25 by 20 foot wide piece of liner. The reason we did that is we're going to have a big wide waterfalls. Lots of water coming out of this. So stay tuned. Tomorrow should be a very productive day. Hopefully the weather holds out and we're able to get a majority of this waterfalls. If not all of the waterfalls done tomorrow, but we'll see. What's going on DK Team Aquascape? It is the start of day two out here on this awesome awesome little pondless project that Chris, Udi, and myself started yesterday. We got some of the other team back today. We got Z, we got Papa, we got Udi out running us rock. Chris is here as well. We're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna put a couple more timbers in back here, raise that level up at least another six inches, maybe a foot, kind of see how we need to dial that thing in. We got a cool little spillway bowl, patio pond bowl over here. We'll see what Hanson has up his sleeve in that. That's gonna be a really cool little element added in. Right now, Papa's working on getting these floor cell panels put on it's just going to strengthen our basin help us lock everything in nice and tight 
uh, give us some extra support with some amazing moss rocks that we got going on over here. Maybe he's working on bringing those back. We got some cool rocks to work with. It's going to be a double falls. We got two spillways. This thing is really going to get dialed in. Looking awesome. The goal is to finish today, so we're going to see how progress goes. Getting a good start to the day. We're going to rock and roll. What we just did was we went ahead and foamed from over in here all the way across to over here. We put that fabric down to act as our bib liner. We got this little spill stone in all of that foam back. So this falls is going to drop. It's going to hook around here and around here. And this is going to be the main spillway. Ron is working on just down in the foam on this rock to make sure we push all that water back over this side. Everybody. So it seems like a good time to kind of check in with the progress on this project. First, I want to tell you I love how it's turning out. No, I don't love it. I really, really, really love it. I love working with the moss rock, that sandstone based material. I love that it's got very unique characteristics unto itself. We've got moss and lichens all over it. Some rocks have some very flat edges, which make for great waterfalls, but there's also ones that have high spots, low spots, everything in between, and just a lot of character on these boulders. So we're going to try and go exclusively with moss rock and then just use some of that bigger gravel so let me turn the camera around and show you what i mean by that so you can see this is all that tennessee moss rock in here it's beautiful you got the lichens on there some moss all types of weathering and character just looks great it also looks great in conjunction with this gravel the colors really match up nicely we got dan and juan over here hooking up some of the plumbing what we're going to do here is actually incorporate that patio pond up here as a spill bowl that will dump into this area right in through here that was a last second ad i brought it out this morning thinking that maybe we could do something creative and fun with it get a little bit of height and get a unique feature or a unique element incorporated into this feature i didn't want it to look too simple but i also don't want it to look too busy so what we're going to do now is go ahead and set that bowl up there and get that thing plumbed in it's going to sit right there nestled into the back side of that rock there and sit back behind these two rocks there what that'll allow it to do is it allows us to hide the bottom of the bowl which is where our plumbing is going to come in drill a two and a half inch hole that will compensate for the two inch flex PVC that's coming in through there. We did a bulkhead fitting. And then on the outside of the liner, we have our three inch trunk line running back behind here, which will feed a spillway, but is also going to be feeding that bowl. So we're gonna split that SLD five to nine two ways and get that bowl plumbed so that we can have a little horsetail fall running opposite of this fall right here. This fall is gonna come kind of at this angle, falling this way. And then the spill bowl will end up almost mirroring it and falling at the same angle, but opposite. You can see Dan's placing it over there. It's gonna have to come forward and to the right a little bit. So it's gonna butt up into that boulder there. Perfect. So what'll happen is this notch right here, we're gonna widen out to probably about three to three and a half inches. And then that will fall down into this pooling area. And then what'll happen is, is there's a natural low point in this rock. So you've got a high point here, high point here. So we'll get some of that water to flow down through here and disappear into the gravel. The rest of it will come down through these two rocks, but we'll also get a little bit more water coming through here. And it will end up adding a little bit of extra interest onto this water waterfall as a majority of that sheet is just going to fall straight down into the gravel down through there. You can also see, and I think Dan talked about it earlier in the video, that's a little chunk that we put in just to get a little bit of something extra where we'll steal water just between those two rocks and it'll end up dropping down that way. So it's not just going to be one big veil of water. We've got multiple things happening on the fringe of that waterfall. And then this waterfall will fall back towards me, which will be the opposite of this one. Should be very, very cool. That's what we're going to do. It looks awesome. Really, really love how it's turning out. 
out. Once we get that plumbing done, we'll be able to finish this whole back section in through here. Want to get that spillstone set so that we can get the waterfalls done and then we'll start cranking through this. I don't think we're going to finish today unless we stayed here until 9, 10 o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and get it to where we feel very, very confident and comfortable in finishing tomorrow. And we probably will lose a guy or to help out with another project, but we're going to finish this thing, wrap this thing up tomorrow. But before we finish today, I'll be sure to check back in with you. So there's the pipe coming through the bulkhead fitting. You can see it's attached to an MPT right there. What that's gonna do is it's gonna run horizontally underneath the bowl. Then Dan's gonna put an elbow. We're gonna stub up through and that pipe end up coming through that hole right there. And then we'll put a ball valve inside the bowl so we can regulate that flow. What's important to remember when splitting the volume of the pump is that you're putting the ball valves in the proper locations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting one before we hook up the plumbing to the spillway that will feed this left waterfall behind me we're going to put a ball valve on just before that spillway on the plumbing to be able to put back pressure to increase the amount of flow coming to that bowl. So the reason I put the ball valve in this bowl also is that we have complete control over the volume that's being discharged through that pump to the respective areas. Let's see, how many guys does it take to glue an elbow? One, <laughs> One with four two, guys watching. three, four. I guess I'm five, and then all of you out there, however many people you are, great. No pressure, Dan, don't screw this up, I guess. girls, men, women, children alike, we are not going to finish today. I'm sorry, but we've got a uh, pretty serious storm cell on the way. We've uh, been seeing lightning now for about the last 15, 20 minutes. So we got a majority of the dirt work done. Got some of the excess dirt out of here. We got everything covered up, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the patio pond. It's gonna make a nice little addition to this feature, but here's where we, where we ended up at the end of day two. We definitely have our work cut out for us tomorrow, but we'll be in great shape. So we've got to get this berm over here, nest get those edges done wrapped up get our spillway put in back there and then we should be almost good to go As you guys saw, Juan was blowing off the grass. We got some rain last night, like we anticipated. So we just wanted to dry things up a little bit, but today is D-Day. We are going to get this project finished. We've got a handful of retaining stones left to do and an enormous amount of edge work, as well as plumbing the top spillway, all of our finished work and getting this thing looking money before we fire this thing up. So it is crunch time, but we're definitely gonna do it. So minimal amount of work, minimal amount of time, but we are going to crush it because we have maximum amount of talent on this crew today. We've got Dan, Chris, myself and Juan and we are going to knock this thing out of the park so let's go to the finish line didn't we chris what are we, what was it oh yeah where are you why do you keep walking away <laughs> right from me here. we made it we made it what are you camera made, shy fish. Nah, what do you not think really it looks awesome man. Yeah? yeah yeah you think our viewers are gonna love it they're gonna love it they're gonna love it man they're gonna love it <laughs> i wish it wasn't so sunny right now because uh, the shadows should yeah. we wait should we wait to show them we could yeah yeah i think we wait a little bit what do you guys think you want to wait till the next episode or should we show you right now no let's show you right now let's turn the camera on holy smokes everybody we just fired this thing up about 10 minutes ago we wanted to make sure that we had everything nice and clean with some edges look at that patio pond and look at this just so stupid wicked awesome i love the little secret falls coming out through there totally you know when we saw the rock we weren't sure what we were going to do but i love how the last minute add-on of that patio pond in there and then just how it fills up that little area and then creates that little waterfall between the two high spots on the rock and then of course you've got the gorgeous big veil of 
water. I mean, it's just so awesome going all the way across. I love the movement in through there. And then I love the little tributary over here on the left. So we're stealing just a little bit of water from back up in here. It comes down from the spillway, which is actually hidden behind and underneath that rock. Right there, we've got a 12 inch spillway and it's buried down so that you can't even see it. It's below the height of this spillstone in here. It fills up that pool. I love how the water pins back behind this little triangle rock, rushes through here, comes down through there, and just creates so much cool little action in through here. So awesome. Little edge water area for some plants. Turned out absolutely incredible. So awesome. I love the big liner that we put over top of the aqua blocks to help get that stream to carry back into here. Looks awesome. This looks so, so cool. I love all the green, the plants, tie it all back together. Recreated this bed edge so that everything looks all nice and clean. This looks so awesome. I love that the edge treatments vary up where we've got some big gravel right along through here. Just a vein of it running through there. And then over here, we did not choose to repeat and did this small gravel over over here and then of course we got the carex over there we've got some scottish moss back up in there we got another piece of tuck right over there looks absolutely incredible we got to spray it down clean all the rocks off get this thing nice and clean for our customers but it turned out absolutely incredible let me back up and give you the full monty there it is cover up that sun a little bit we've got our customers back over here admiring the work what do you guys think oh my god so Carol, we alluded to it earlier in the video how you already lived the aquascape lifestyle yeah. at your previous home. I did. And you went from a pond to a pondless. Yep. So I know you're gonna miss your fish a little bit, but a little I bit. think we made the right decision with the oh pondless waterfall, gosh. right? Yeah, because we don't want to take care of koi fish. We want a turnkey <laughs> operation yeah. here. We're gonna say, we're going out of town, turn off the waterfall wow. or leave it or whatever. Yep. And yeah. not have to worry about your pets, right? Exactly. And you have this amazing home behind you, all the windows it's so open being inside at the consultation we talked about some of the different spots to put it and um, because of the drainage in the backyard and the swale through the middle we had to pull it further back so yeah. I think it made all the sense in the world to use these big boulders in through here so that you could actually view it from the house oh yeah and I can see it when I'm in my kitchen yep. which I am a lot I can look right out and see it and I can't wait to see the birds taking letting their beaks preening bathing yeah it yep. looks yeah. so awesome it's amazing and there is there is gonna be those moments where we have of course we have the drama of the big tall waterfalls fast moving water big pump that kind of stuff but we built in some of those slower back water areas, shallow water, those beachy kind of settings that we always talk about in the videos where the wildlife will come. They will find it and it's only a matter of time before birds are here. I wouldn't be surprised if they're here in the next couple minutes even. And even with that patio pond, they'll perch up on the side over there. Carol, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so awesome and you're going to love it at night. I can't wait to get over here and get some night shots of this project. It looks absolutely stunning. Do we do okay? Oh yeah? gosh. Yeah? So High, High five. High five. Carol, you guys you're amazing. Awesome. I'm almost speechless which i know doesn't happen often but i'm almost speechless with how well this turned out it came together over the course of three days the project just it looks beautiful i love the attention to detail that we put into it i love all of the little things and it's the little things that truly take water features from you know being awesome to being the very best and who better than for carol and lee than the very best they deserve it so we're super pumped to be turning the keys over to them to their new water feature this thing looks absolutely incredible thanks so much everybody for watching if you have any questions leave us a comment in the video we'll be sure to get back to you and as always if you haven't done already click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the team aquascape content three days a week tuesday thursday sunday 9 a.m central standard time thanks so much for watching adios